You too, what it do? That's your boy Tess, don't do it to him. Too late, so I already did it to him. But man, the reason for this video is give me one second. Hate doing videos with ashy hands. But uh, on this video, as the uh, title says, how much did I spend to pretty much rebuild my uh, 64 Impala? Wish that I'm not even finished with it. It's in the paint shop. I, uh, I don't think I did a video on it, but I pulled up on them probably about four, four days ago. So my car is up next. So he was finishing up a, a car. What happened was the work that they did, they did that. So the car was painted, but it was the customer decided to do a last minute add on, which that he pretty much like me when I do my carpet cleaning. Once they add on something, since I'm there, I'll, I'll do it. So he said, well, you have to rebook and so, but the only problem was, you know, he didn't let me know. So I told him, like, man, I understand it, but, you know, just let me know. So I'm in the dark. So he's like, yeah, once we finish this, your car is in for sure. So I'm like, all right, cool. So back to, um, back to what I spent. That was like a quick update. So it's in the paint shop. It's been in the paint shop since October, I believe. I dropped a video of when I dropped it off. So it's been here ever since. And I got very little updates. He, he posts stuff, but not mainly for me. So, but that's the update on that. So, okay, starting off, um, when I found it, I actually found this 64 around my neighborhood, shockingly, because cars like that, it's not in this area. I was looking on the West Coast pretty much. I was gonna pay the, the fee, whatever it costs to get it shook. I know for sure it wouldn't be drivable. Or if it was, they wanted an arm and a leg, which that uh, I spent the block. So uh, starting off, for the car, I, I got my chart. So what I did, I broke down the chart. I, I printed it out because I had it on the computer. I was just gonna read from it. So I, I printed it out and I'm gonna uh, break it down. So when I first found my 6 horn Impala, that was, I think I had it for two years now. And I came across of it on Facebook Marketplace. I let every, everything I checked, I was on, and I was on so many websites just trying to find it. And I almost I did find one that was in, excuse me, Ohio. Wish that it was actually more put together than my car. But the thing was, it was, it was put together. I wanted something where I could put it together how I wanted to. So, um, I was looking Southwest, West, I'm not Southwest, West Coast. Couldn't find none really. And I found one that was beat down. That boy was, it was bad. And it was, I think they wanted like a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars, something like that. Drop a grand, but it would cost probably anywhere from maybe 25 to maybe five to get a ship. I don't know, I never had a car ship. So um, I can imagine that that would be anywhere from the hundreds to the thousands. But it was beat down. I don't even have a picture no more. I will post a picture up to show you. But then at the last, the last day when I got tired of looking, I came across this boy on a uh, Facebook market, marketplace. And it was like five minutes, well not five minutes, five miles from the house or something. Wow, so I wrote it. I'm like, do you still got it? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, can I come look at it? He's like, yeah, you come look at it. So I would drop that clip. So I, I got the video of that. I'll tie that in. You can hear it. He started that. <laughs> Give me, give me a month. He's like, well, 
if he's still here, you know, I mean, if he's still here, I'm like, all right. So I grind out. Came back a month later, I hit him up like, yo, is he still there? He probably thought I was lying. He's like, yeah, he's yeah, it, still here. I'm like, I'm on my way to come get it. He's like, huh? He's like, yeah, I'm on my way to come get it. So he's like, all right, give me, give me a couple hours. I'm going to load it up. So when y'all see the video, it's stripped down. Only thing was in it was the front seat and the, the bed seat in the back. But he had all the parts for it sitting on the shelf. So him and his boy loaded it up. Me and Mr. Joe came and got it. And that was that. We picked it up. And the price for that was $7,500. 7, so get your pen and pencil. Y'all can see the breakdown. So that was 75, a, a quick update on it. It's not the original engine, but it's a true SS, matching numbers. So they pulled the engine. My guessing is they used to race it. I don't know, because most of the time when you race a car, you strip it down. That's what I got. They was racing that bad baby and they kept the engine, which was a 409 you know, or whatever they did to it. So, but what he put in there, it was a beefed up 350. So it's like a 355. We did the headers, a cam, it's, it's, it's a lot. So the, it's a strong motor, strong motor. Sport, four speed manual on the, um, on the for sale thing, he, the list he put it up, he put it automatic, but it's a four speed manual. So that was that. All the parts that I put in, Speaking, let me let me show you. Let me take y'all for a trip real quick for y'all to see what I'm talking about. So my car. Ooh, caught y'all. What's wrong, y'all? I ain't getting it locked. Is my flip flops over here? No. Okay. So I got all the parts. My car will be completed. This concrete code. As y'all can see, that's my 6 4. That's everything. So it's. I got everything for it. Boxes run from here all the way around the entertainment system over there. Everything for it. So when I mean everything, I mean everything. I got everything for it. I just gotta get it painted and get my car back. So just in the parts that I need. And oh you know what? No, no, I don't have everything. I got to, I take that back. I still gotta buy the uh the council. So the four speed council, that's like six hundred something dollars. That's why I'm actually waiting. So um, but for what I spent so far, the parts was three thousand eight hundred and eighty-seven dollars. It's a change. So that was in parts. Not not the labor. I didn't really do too much. Most of everything I did myself. So then we're going with the rims. The rims, I'm not giving y'all no hints or idea of what I'm doing with the rim. Just know them boys is fire. So the rim alone is five grand. Five grand. So like I said, the, uh, the car is at the paint shop. So with the little body work they gotta do, plus the paint job, that's six grand. And I did talk about it, but I'm not too sure if I, if I showed it, but I'm getting a custom trunk. I already put the payment on that. I put half on that. The custom trunk bill, that's $1,400. And then, oh, the Rick. Okay, so I uh, I took my car to Rick. I did a video on it. He rewired my whole car. He real fair. You know, anywhere else with a charge. Easily, probably 25 and up. He only wanted like a couple of hundred. I'm like, nah, bro, you you did too much. So I threw him eight. I tried to give him a thousand. He's so honest. He's like, man, nah, bro, I don't, nah. He's like, man, at least take eight. All right, he ain't gonna take it, Rick. That's my man. So I threw him eight. So uh, that's in the title. Again, I went um, for my seats. I don't know if I had a picture of the original seats. They was like tennis or aqua. I don't know. This is a funny thing. Not tan, but aqua. Aqua. I don't have no, no type of. It was a, a greenish. I don't know what the interior was, but that's what they had in there. That was original. Maybe it was silver, but it faded over time. It was just a color I don't know. So I, it's my original seats. I sent them out. Well, I ordered seat covers, which were all black. Then I took my seats to uh, this spot called Mario's. 
And for a thousand dollars, they they put the seat covers on, swapped off the phone. Uh, I think he said my screen was good, so that saved me some money. So all together for my seats, get my seats done up is a thousand. I'll drop that in the video. So I got pictures of that. So that was a thousand. And I think that's it. That's where I sit right now with my six for at your paint shop. And I'm gonna show you. I got a picture of how I sit. And it's not even finished. And that's how much money. So if y'all add that up, I'm sitting at a grand total. 25587 dollars and 58 cents into my car. So it's not even finished. Yeah, so I broke that down. I was just sitting here like, duh, I almost got 30 in this car. But that just means when it's finished, it's gonna be a monster. I kid you not. So I'm sure the appraisal for it gonna, gonna be a high, a high car. I'm not looking to sell it. This is something that I always wanted. So I'm about to enjoy this. So, um, and the big difference is with the 6.1, I wouldn't have to put that much money in that car at all because everything is on it. So when I first got the 6.4, as y'all see, it was stripped down. Everything was gone pretty much except for the seats. Now, all, most all the parts was split it, but it was off. And I ended up replacing most of everything anyway. So. That's why that really cost so much. And then it was pricey because I still had to pay people to do stuff. As far as you might know the work, that's not my profession. So I would have to pay for certain stuff to get it done. Whereas if you know what you're doing, you would knock off some thousands just by doing it yourself. And then some of the stuff I do know, it's just that I didn't have the time to do it. So I'd rather just send it off, get it done, and get it back. So that's where I'm at, man. So these price, this is pretty much based off me. So your number might be different due to the fact that you took a different route. You might have took it to a, a, a actual shop that does that. Well, actually, that's where I bought the car from. It was a restoration shop. And when I got it, I asked him, like, well, what would be the ticket for y'all to, you know, restore this? He looked at me and said, honestly, you don't want to send it here. He said, I'm not, I don't know what your pocket's looking like. But you'll be looking at 60 and up. <laughs> Thank you. So I was like, yeah. So depending on if you got real deep pockets, you could send it to the actual spot. And I'm sure it will be a high end of what my man was saying, 60 and up. But at the same time, it would be beautiful. Beautiful. Because the car they had in there, man, I should have did a video of that. I was too hyped that I was getting my car. I didn't think about turning on no cameras in. They had some stuff in there and they did a hell of a job. But um, yeah, that's where I'm at so far in there. And like I said, I'm nowhere near finished. So that's hopefully I answered your question. But for me, I'm 25 in. And like I said, every car is different depending on the route you go. I went with a classic monitor. So most of my stuff, it gonna have a classic look. Now you might go extreme and go all custom. Everything custom. That 25 could have easily been 55 or 65. It still ain't done. But yeah, man, that's it. So that's where I'm at with this. Uh, update with the 6.1. I could do that real quick. There ain't no update. <laughs> I'm still waiting on the 6.4. But no, I'm still gonna drop one for that because I got a few more videos I need to drop right now. But man, if y'all new here, man, please hit that like, subscribe, man. Stay tuned because the 6.4, like I said, up next. So. And y'all seen all them boxes, so that's plenty of content that will be coming because most of that stuff I believe I'm gonna do myself. Um, I'm gonna have an update for my interior because I gotta call him. But then I'm gonna do the tent. Me and the wife, we just got our cars tinted. Well, my car been tinted, I just got my back windows retinted. She got her car retinted. She's super hyped, but she went there, took a power nap. So I'm gonna probably get her reaction, see how she loves it. And I'm gonna chop that up in the video, show y'all. But man, like, subscribe, drop some comments. Boy, appreciate it. Bye.